Thank you. Too. Appreciate you coming. Thanks for having me. You know, I've watched your performances. I did a lot of research on you. I see passion in your play, integrity. I like your character. Uh, my goal today is to sign you, represent you in the National Football League, help you with your finance, help you with management, marketing, and kind of move you forward. When I choose an agent, I look for somebody that has a lot of drive, a lot of passion, and uh, that's respected. I'm working about... 16 hours a day. My cell phone minutes are like 15,000 minutes a month. So it's gotta be a few hundred calls a day, but I enjoy it. I'm not stressed, I'm healthy. I love, no, currently, currently I'm doing current TV. I'll call you back. You know how we represent our clients. It's seamless from entertainment to uh, sports to understanding the streets in the community. So I think that's why we'd be a good match. I think we can do big things together. Hmm. Let's talk about um, compensation. People love talking about show me the money. That's the first thing people talk about when they're a sports agent. This is how it works. We only earn 3% of what they earn on the field playing on the NFL contract. Off the field, appearances and branding and marketing them. You can earn anywhere from 10 to 25%. That's where the big bucks are. The big bucks are off field. We have to be resourceful with this money because the term of playing is very, very short. The average career in the NFL is about four years. You have to make sure that your client doesn't go out and buy a $5 million house in his first year. He doesn't go out and buy two Bentleys and he's not under the pressure of having to replace it. How I do that is showing them spreadsheets. Look at this banking statement. How much money's coming out? How much money's coming in? How much real estate do you have? Is your family secure? What's your insurance like? So we have to guide them to looking at the bottom line. They're businessmen, you know what I mean? This is like these are Fortune 500 guys with helmets and an outfit on. Same thing. <laughs> I think the most challenging aspect of managing people in general is the human component. A lot of people treat singers and athletes like a product, but you have to be sensitive to the fact that these are human beings. Sometimes they don't perform so well, they have problems at home, or something's troubling them, or they're not well. You have to remember that these are people and they're just as sensitive as they are strong. I grew up uh, in a loving family. Uh, mother and grandmother took care of me. Uh, when I was about eight years old, um, we were evicted. I came home, all my toys, uh, furniture, clothing was thrown in the street and we kind of spiraled and I was without a stable home from eight until uh, I was in the seventh grade. Uh, sometimes homeless shelters, sometimes nowhere, you know, um, living on the train. So you have to kind of walk through all of that. You just have to still keep your soul and your heart open enough that you don't become bitter, but you have to be strong enough to be able to take the pain. With love, this is an eight, you need a nine too? I need a nine. You need a nine, somebody else needed an eight. What you doing with yours, bro? I'm gonna put these right on my feet. <laughs> to be you. I used to pray every night that my mother wouldn't know I was hungry. So we brought you some of the finest things and we want you all to know that you're not forgotten about. I love you all. I'm you. Somebody's always watching. We love you from Bookbank Foundation to you and yours. I love the foundation because I'm a living example that success is for everybody. So Bookman Foundation is one of my most favorite things. But being a, a broker in the world of sports and entertainment, being an entrepreneur gives me the a, a platform to be able to do these things. I've been talking to the uh, Atlanta Hawks about creating some marketing situations. Um, we're primarily NFL, but if it's sports attached to it, I'm trying to get at it. Really my focus with the Hawks is to try to go in 
on a community level with the Book Bank Foundation. I'm trying to talk to their team executives. Cat, good to see you again. And I'm sure what they're gonna try to do is hit me up for money, try to get me to buy some of these uh, sky boxes, some of these sports boxes. One of the things that we can do is maybe have you purchase a seat. And you know what? Not happening unless they're gonna give the Book Bank Foundation a little bit of love. 25,000, sit down on the floor. Right, have your feet on the floor. I kind of thought this might happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gonna have you yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Lynn has a passion, a desire, and he comes from the uh, same background, similar communities, and anybody that, that can come from the same beginnings I came from and make it somebody I want to deal with. I think the measure is how I play the game. I'm a good player, you know, not a player. I'm a good player, and I'm a team player. So there's always going to be a place for me, I hope, as long as I'm on my game.